this week's market outlook from Exness Education. This video discusses the key idea potentially for a trade this week and some of the reasons behind it and what traders should be aware of in terms of news and data the next few days. I'm Michael Stark, Financial Content Manager, and joining us to give his idea and insights is Stanislav Bernikov, Trading Specialist. Thank you, Stan, for joining us. Hello, Michael. Thank you for having me today. What then is the key possible idea for a trade this week? All right. So this week I am looking forward into the potential counter trend for Japanese yen or USD JPY. As you see from the chart, so it's near the previous high and the support area is below. I mean, the combination of 20 and 50 day moving average, which is considered as a dynamic support area, is located below. And we might actually capture the reversal here, having in mind that uh, that actually, so it's the mature trend. It's probably already weak now, considering that uh, the American dollar is consolidating and commodity markets are not so trending anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what uh, are the key narratives or a key single narrative that's, that's driving that idea? All right. So first of all, we see that the Treasury yields, I mean, the yields of 30-year Treasury bonds are slowing down. The memento is slower, so they're not close to the top. And that's easily explainable because markets are looking forward into the potential recession fears and inflation fears are not really so sharp as they've been in the first quarter of 2022. So now probably that is not a good point for commodities and also for Japanese yen. So that's the first point. And also if you take a look at the Fed Watch tool, you see that most hawkish scenarios for September uh, are moving down. I mean, the probabilities for those scenarios is diminishing, which also shows us some, I don't say relief for the markets, but at least the inflation pressure is not as high as it has been before. So, and also it is summer, not very active period. It will be likely to see most assets consolidating in a narrow range. Mm -hmm. And if we look at the economic calendar, what events or what news coming up would you highlight particularly as things to be aware of if you're making this trade this week? Uh, this week is relatively empty in terms of economic calendar, but the most notable event which I want to draw your attention to is the Fed, uh, the speech of Fed Chair Powell, Jerome Powell, which will be held on Wednesday. Usually it creates a lot of volatility in the markets if he says something unusual. Uh, he's always in the focus of the market. So it will be Wednesday, which is tomorrow. So don't uh, miss this speech in the calendar. So I guess that is the most important one. Other ones are on Friday and on Thursday. I guess they are not super important for the markets. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in summary, then, we've got the potential idea this week for a move down by dollar yen towards the dynamic support. And among the factors driving that is the possible fears of a recession when you have less momentum for the yields of treasury bonds and most commodities other than crude oil are declining. And that situation seems to favor the movement down. And the main focus this week from the economic calendar is the speech of Jerome Powell on Wednesday and to a lesser extent, uh, data on Thursday and Friday, personal spending and ISM PMI are in view as well. So thank you very much, Stan, for joining us and for giving us your idea and insights for this week. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Have a good trading week, everyone. <laughs>